Alright guys, I'm just trying to talk a little bit slow because I'm trying to pass time right now because YouTube's new rules doesn't allow me to show brutal violent gameplay in the first 15 seconds of this video or it will get demonetized instantly and the game I want to show you is extremely brutal so yeah, YouTube, this is not a showcase of violence but simply of a new game. To complement yesterday's video that I made, here's a look at a brand new action combat game called Super 1337 that's still in early development but is making some massive progress every single day. To help with this, the developer working on it will be releasing a free demo of the game on Steam very soon. He told me it is still a week or so away and he wants to get all of your support and comments on this game and what you think of it, so let's just get into the details right away. Now first of all, this game is all about slow motion brutal dismemberment and going through waves of enemies and different levels with different classes of your liking and I'm absolutely loving the dismemberment system here that he was able to create. It's like a classic brutal action movie. The combat in Super 1337 is a mixture of finesse and thought, it is said, encouraging careful consideration of movesets and combos in the split seconds of bullet time afforded you. Kill to slowly and the length and frequency of your bullet time will quickly mean becoming overwhelmed, but fight without thought and you may find yourself locked into a losing move. It is a constant fight to outpace your enemies as the longer they live, the faster they become. The efficiency is key, but don't be too slow as well. You can play as light or heavy melee, giving careful consideration to distance and angles of attack or play as ranged and make every shot count. With the light melee, movement is king or in this case queen as by far the most agile of the characters, Simmer has the most control over his speed and her combat capabilities reflect this. With the heavy melee, he's far more movement restraint. Karate Knight can take much more damage than any other character and has wide sweeping moves that's to make up for his lacking attack speed. And finally you can play as the bodyguard which is the ranged combat where you'll be able to choose from a variety of ammunitions as the situation calls for it and time your reloads well. You have devastating power and control until the bullets run out. You also have a combat knight and if you're not careful you'll be using it more than you'd like to. Let me know what you guys think of the game right away in the comments and like this video for more new games and subscribe as well.